Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer. Welcome to Medicine Matters. The topic, another reason for pregnant moms to get the flu shot. One injection, two beneficiaries, baby and mom. And two new reasons to get the pneumonia shot. Here's why it matters. For more than a decade, pregnant women have been told to get a flu shot. Pregnant moms who come down with flu are more likely to be hospitalized and there's an increased risk of fetal malformation. Another concern is neonatal risk of flu. A new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine shows that mom's flu shot during pregnancy provides even greater benefits. Double protection for mom and for baby. The study done in Bangladesh found that maternal antibodies protect the baby in the womb and after birth. Mom's flu vaccine cut the odds of baby coming down with flu during that first six months of life by 63%, and that's not all. It also reduced the risk of fever and respiratory infection in both mother and baby by a third. Remember, babies below the age of six months can't take the flu shot, and they're too young for antivirals. If you look at deaths of children who get the flu, these little ones are most at risk. They're more likely to be hospitalized and more likely to die if infected. That's why all family members and caregivers of these babies are encouraged to get a flu shot to protect the child and for their own protection, of course. And now it's time to roll up your sleeve for your flu shot. And doctors, that also means you and all your staff. Last year, only 42% of healthcare workers were vaccinated. Now, maybe some of them couldn't get the vaccine, but that's no excuse this year. The CDC says there should be no shortage of vaccine. About 146 million doses should be available, so start vaccinating now. This year's vaccine is totally new. All three virus strains have been changed. Hopefully it will work better this year than the last few years when there was a poor match between flu vaccine and the circulating strains. If you're age two to 49, healthy with no medical problems and not pregnant, you can opt for needle-free protection with the nasal flu vaccine. However, pregnant women must have the flu shot. While you're at it, remember that asthma patients need a pneumonia shot. The ACIP recently added asthma to the list of pneumonia shot indications. And the latest word from the Canadian Medical Association Journal is that pneumonia shot may also lower the risk of heart attack. It supposedly involves macrophages. The vaccination is believed to interfere with absorption of oxidized LDL by macrophages and therefore interrupts a crucial step leading to atherosclerosis. And of course, you can give both flu shot and pneumonia shot at the same visit. My flu vaccine supply has come in and I'm already vaccinating. What about you? How are things going in your practice? Send me a note on the Physicians Connect message board because I wanna hear from you. For Medicine Matters, I'm Dr. Sandra Freyhofer. Mm -hmm.